Oh, I'm so excited for this fish, John. <laughs> Let's this get is in. what we came out for today. Oh, oh my gosh, the nicest stuff. Today we're going back in time to 2020. I'm fishing with one of my good friends, John, and we're out to try and catch his first kokanee today. One of my favorite things about fishing is to be able to share the amazing outdoors and the passion I have about fishing with others. Something I highly recommend doing. In this video, if you watch closely, you will see some of the techniques I use to target kokanee in the fall. Generally, in the fall, the fish will be deeper and the larger kokanee will go after larger lures and dodgers. This is a time that I size up my tackle. This trip, we also found a lot of larger cutthroat that wanted the same thing. Make sure you watch to the end of this video. I give a trip recap of what we learned this trip and also talk about some of the other guidelines I use for fall fishing. Hope you enjoy this trip and if you haven't already subscribed yet, click that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified when we post new content. Holy smokes! Cutthroat? Yep, cutthroat. Not a keeper. No, not quite. Look how, what are they at, a 22? Yeah, over 22. Let's see my points. Oh, sorry. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, so let's pull it up. Real, 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 real. Side slack out. Okay, it's on. Yeah. Once it's on, you can just go nice and slow. Looked like a little kokanee for a minute. Silver and the like. No, another cutthroat. That shows you how big that other one was. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's good. 
you have the to have. It's the batteries. Oh. It's the batteries. Yep. So I I don't know if it'll be successful just because of that. We're on septic hill over there, but we have power pole right to the house. That's awesome. I mean, we have a phone line. In That's. <laughs> That is so cool. Cut through it? Yeah, it is. Yep, another nice cut through. You know what it is? Fun, isn't That's it? the part of it, man. It's That's so the whole much fun. thing. Oh, that one here. Watch Dude, it. Yeah. Watch it. Watch it again. The cooking just haven't woken up yet. <laughs> it's non stop, John. <laughs> yeah, with it. Now he's got that big old dog here on it. Yeah, feels a little different than that other. Yeah. Well, part of it will be that Dodger is that big one. So, so it's going to have more pull. But it, it could it could definitely, let's see what it is. Nice cutthroat. That is that dog. Yep, yeah, it is. That's kind of cool. It is really <laughs> cool, isn't it? I bet you we're at close to 20 fish already, John. Seriously. Get him to want it. I'll speed up and slow down. I'll curve back and forth a little bit. That'll make the lures go. Check, check. Yep. See, look, speed up and slow down. <laughs> John, if you want to just put those little gulp on the ends. Yeah. Get them on Okay, out. yep. Okay, maybe this is our first cookie. Yeah. Pick that up pretty quick. Good sign he came to the top. Kokanee usually come to the top. Do they? They do, so we'll see though.
Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, that'd be Even just put like a shed up there that you could go so storm up there. The shed before you did the cab. And that's what he's got. That's awesome. That's awesome. Feels a little different, huh? Yeah. It's a little bigger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just put your rod tip straight up in the air. So it acts as a shock absorber. Oh. oh, yeah, nice and slow. Yeah, that's a big cocaine. Oh, I'm so excited for this fish, John. <laughs> Let's this get it This is in. what we came out for today. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, nice and slow. And then what that does is it just uh, takes all the blood out of the meat, so when you flame out, it just makes it. Look at that fish! Isn't that cool? That's what we're coming after, Dylan. That is. You could sure feel a difference. Oh yeah, that thing is just so big and thick, and oh man, the coloring on that. That's gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? That really is. This is the one you brought up close. Yeah, yeah, nothing's hit that. No, I'm just, just doing that. Yeah, I need to get this back in the water, but man, I have a tough uh, That's such. Oh. We'll let it bleed for a minute. And... Okay. Okay, let's get another one. <laughs> that's what we came out for. Oh, just rolling that in, you can feel. Yeah. You really oh, feel yeah. that. That's so cool. Like you said, that many cuts are up, and then the next one, you know, there's that on. Yeah. It's down like 45 feet deep. Yeah. So, and some people will say that once they start turning red, they're not any good to eat. Yeah. But that's because it's so warm, and if you don't get them on ice, that it just becomes a little mushy. Mm -hmm. But as long as you put them on ice, it keeps it nice and firm there, it's still just really, really good. Look at the size of that. Yeah.
a good size fish, wow. huh? Like 18, 19 inches. Yeah. Go slow, just go slow. Oh, okay, good. Oh. I did too. <laughs> Tell him he's getting in the other line. Oh. How crazy is that? Like this, this cut throat and bam. Yep. Okay, so on the mouth where it comes down, tell me. So this one, this one's most likely a female because yeah, it doesn't have a huge yeah, but it doesn't have the huge <laughs> nice camera shot. I don't believe this one. Okay. So yeah, this this should be a female. We need to get a big male. Yeah. Nice and slow.
given day that's a nice fish. Oh it is. It is. A couple of my takeaways from this trip. First, the kokanee bite is typically early in the morning before sunrise until about an hour after sunrise. But that's not always the case as you saw today. Some days the bite will vary and come at an unexpected time. This is especially true later in the fall. The kokanee we caught today were all caught in about the same 45 minute time period. If you're not catching them, but still catching other fish, don't get discouraged. You're doing something right and keep after it. If you're not catching anything, but still marking fish on your fish finder, keep switching it up until you find something that works. 2020 was a great year for large cutthroat. In 2021, they heavily planted the lake with cutthroat and rainbows, so we caught a lot more smaller cutthroat and rainbow that year. I'm looking forward to a great 2022 season. Thanks for watching, happy fishing, and tight lines.